that kind of way. And it's sad because I don't know how you're, I would not be happy as a teacher if I never Mm -hmm. got to be human with my students. Right. Like I never got to sit down and talk to them about something that had nothing to do with, like I just wouldn't be happy as an educator Mm -hmm. and uh, with a lot of our kids that get into trouble sometimes they'll get in the office and that this has been every level high school Mm -hmm. middle school elementary school they'll get in the office and they will talk like crazy like nobody Mm -hmm. not a parent not a teacher Mm -hmm. nobody has paused to have a conversation with these kids Mm -hmm. and i'm just like good lord has anyone said anything to you all day Right. Because some of them would stay in my office and then they want to come back all the mm-hmm. time. So now, teacher, you think you're punishing this student by sending them to the office. Mm-hmm. Well, you hadn't talked to them. So now when they come to me because you mm-hmm. kick them out, <laughs> they're going to finally get a moment of human connection. Right. And that is what I feel like that's what this boy in particular. And there was a few in today's talks <laughs> that I was just like, you want a human connection. I'm like, so. That's all you've. Great. Okay. Yeah. And then one was like, you don't participate. All the comments, no participation, lack of participation. I said, well, why aren't you participating? I know all the stuff, so I don't feel like it. Like, I just am not that type of person. But they'll assume. Right. Some so teachers will assume that he can just, yep. Put your head up, you know, all that stuff. And I'm like, can you just. Meet them in the middle. All these <laughs> nonsense battles that's wasting your doggone energy. Right. At the end of the day. Because really, he's doing okay. And you're trying to make sure he's not because he don't want to play your monkey game. Like, he's just not trying to do that. Right. So, and teachers are intimidated by that type of the kid, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because you're not, <laughs> you're not getting along. You're not a part of the get along gang. And it's a, con- yes, that get along gang girl. Give me the ones that ain't getting along, child, because you don't want to keep me on my toes. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, we would be so bored. I don't know. I like a challenge. I mean, it's March, though. So, so I'm like, listen, you're with me or you're not. I'm not, I'm not here to At this point. You. Yeah, of I'm course. Not, get along or not. Bye. Because <laughs> I don't have time to sit there and keep begging you to do. No, don't. it's absolutely to that point. When the boy jumped out the window, I kind of felt like that <laughs> this week as well. Because believe it or not, assistant principals get to that point too. Yeah. Because we're not just dealing with the problem in your class. We're dealing with the problem Everyone. in every classroom. So yeah. it's, it's um, definitely that time of the year mm-hmm. where we are definitely on this countdown for spring break. Thank you, Lord. And it's like, I don't, I give you a certain amount of months of, Selling myself and showing you how great this is, but yeah, yeah. At some point, I'm, I'm not you. here for that. I'm with like you. literally, I'm here for everybody else who was bought into this. And that's the conversation I had with little boy's mama mm-hmm. when he was going crazy on her. Because this isn't the first time we've done this, <laughs> but I told her I was like, "This, this, this, what you're going through." Mm-hmm. Now I'm speaking over him, yelling because he's like, "No, I don't want to go home." So <laughs> I'm like, "This is what we're not equipped." To handle mm-hmm. like all the other build up to this, we can manage it, but this mm-hmm. we just can't. And I need you to go get some professional opinion mm-hmm. about what we can do to help him because we're mm-hmm. willing, yeah, but we've done all our tricks. Let us know, let us know how we can, and that's from pure exhaustion because we've been playing these games all year. Mm-hmm. So, mama, your turn, right? Help us help him, right. So, you know, I absolutely get that. But then you have to think on the other hand where there are these kids who have been isolated Mm -hmm. all year, even in March, where nobody's talked to them or nobody's reached out to them or nobody's had a human connection with them. Mm -hmm. And um, Because those ones that are acting up are getting it. mm -hmm. They're getting contact. They're getting talked to. They're getting sent to your administrator and administrator. Like the ones that don't are just kind of there. So and I guess, he hit me hard when he was like, you know, I, either I'm here or I'm not. Like, nobody's checking. No that's re- that's good, though, because hopefully all, I pray that all of your teachers are really taking this as a time and an opportunity mm-hmm. to be, um, to be a service to these children. Right. Where it's the moment the where you can step back and take a deep breath. Yeah, at, what the, at the high school, um, every teacher had to get a, men- a mentee. Mm-hmm. Um, when I was at the high school so 
I mean, it's little things like that that can make a huge difference that can prevent someone from coming to shoot up a school. Right. Or someone from like doing something to themselves. To themselves. Like, yeah. That was, a, I was like, ooh, you're not in a good place. <laughs> like, are you feeling sad? Yes. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let's get you somewhere you need to be. So you can talk or you can walk it out or whatever. He had the right one. I know. I felt good. But then I started looking back on last semester and I was like, I don't Who think else? I talked to him last semester. Like, I, Because homeroom was like 30 something kids. You come in for 10 minutes, figure some things out, pass out the papers and then bye. So I'm grateful for the shift that we get 30 minutes. Once a week, for sure, of time to talk with them, time to Oh, that's good that it's once a week. I might need to implement that at the elementary school. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, (laughs) the funny part is, because we're all just going, this is new. So, I went off on them. Half the class is failing math. I was like, what do we need to do? So, next Wednesday, we're doing math drills. Because all of you all are failing math. So, what can we do? Right. And so they were like, we don't know. We need help. Like, they were just like, really? Because I'm not their teacher. I'm not giving them grades. And they understand that I'm there to help them and not. Yeah. And to even check on them. Like, you're not about to just fail math with a 50. Come on. Yeah. A lot of times people don't, kids either don't feel comfortable talking to their teacher, mm-hmm. the ones giving them the grade. Right. Or. They don't know what they need help with because a lot of times mm-hmm. um, we treat high schoolers as if they really they got sense, know. but they don't. One boy said it was so cute. Not cute. It was very, it made me very aware. He said, I started off on the wrong foot with her and I can't get right. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's probably true. Yeah. Like, I see that so much in I was my like, office. So... Like they don't ever get a second. Nobody ever starts over. When's the reset button hit? But then on either side. Uh, absolutely. So it's like yeah. you start off on the wrong foot. Now there's no looking back. Like you can't turn it around and show her that you're interested now. Right. Like you can do that. And he's like, she won't want it. And I'm like, but you can ask. Like you can just ask and or act like you're interested one day in class. Raise your hand. Stop putting your head down. You know, change up what you're doing. They've been shut down when they try to do that, though. Mm. I can just speak from conversations that I've had. Yeah. And you don't get it because you're the teacher that would be like, oh, he's trying today. Let's right. get it. Let's Okay, this is my opportunity. Right. But there are so many teachers who stay in that place as well mm-hmm. when the young child has humbled themselves enough right. to adjust. But you come back with a smart, you don't even Mm -hmm. wake up long enough. You're in your trance Mm -hmm. and you don't even wake up enough to recognize that they're putting forth an effort. Right. Or it's too late. It's too late for the teacher. (laughs) Yeah. Like it's May and you're talking about what can I do to fix my grades? Well, I don't like that because I'm talking about the ones that I'm talking about the ones that are sincerely trying to do what you just said. Mm -hmm. Turn it around. Well, that's why I'm telling them now in March. Don't try to turn it around in May. Like, you need to do it now so it's not like, what can I do to get up out of here? Like, you need to, you start off bad, fix it as soon as possible. Show effort. Don't just ride it out until the end because nobody can do anything at that point. Like, no. And that's when they think it's the time to turn it on, last minute. That's when they care. Yeah. Yeah, girl. So, that's this teacher life we live and I wonder, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder what my dream school would be like. So he was talking about his slide with his dream. I just wonder what my dream school would be like where, um, you know, what would the kids be like when they come in? What would it, like all, the whole entire thing. By no means do I want to have my own school. But what would it be like? That's a hmm. great question to... I like it. I like that question. Ask for... I used to want to open a school, so I'll talk about that next time. Oh, okay. That's no longer a dream. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Looking for this other book. Hmm. It's over here. Oh. All right. Well, that is all we have <laughs> for you. That's a very long teacher talk. We have a lot to say. All your fault. <laughs> I think you try to make me a, make me out to lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
we will talk, see, hear from you later. Bye. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for listening to Sweet Tea and Sunshine. If you want to get in touch with us, make sure you follow us on Instagram at T Shines, T E A S H I N E S. And if you have questions or comments or want to contribute, um, you can email us at the T Shine at gmail.com. T H E T E A S H I N E at gmail.com. Thanks so much for joining us. I can't wait till next time. Bye.